everyone, welcome to our first episode of our imaginary logo town. This town is basically our imagination, nothing more. Here is our invisible town building here, our invisible train station here, and yeah, that's everything. You know, all of it is based on imagination, you just got to look at the table when you stand out there and imagine nothing. <laughs> well, I will imagine the buildings. Other than that, we are currently waiting for the base plates to arrive and one new building. Um, well, I'm just, we haven't been able to film recently. I apologise. Well, we didn't know you were going to do this. I just realised that now. I want to get into a bit of what we've done in this room here. So, we're going to do it backwards. So... We're going to start off, we painted the room blue, well actually, this used to be all wallpaper here and it used to look better than this. It had golden, it had golden grey wallpaper, all this for the whole room. And when I started to peel off, we wanted to have it our office and decided towards it being our office which was meant to be green. But it just didn't happen. And... But then we but then I procrastinated on it for a while and now we started it again. I peeled off all the wallpaper to find there was paint that needed to come off the wall so we had to scrape it everywhere which has left these horrible horrible holes on the wall of where the scrapers battered it trying to get it off. So it's not turned out great in how I want it to be, but then we managed to paint it white and get the paint on the wall, prime the walls and paint it. And then, we, whilst we painted it blue, I realised, oh yeah, the walls look a bit plain, they look a bit boring. So we added these lovely, lovely clouds that scatter the wall there. And once we get everything into the town, it'll look really nice. Um, we removed this door too to give us some more space. We we moved it to my bedroom because my door was a bit rubbish. And we we were wise to remove the door because now we can just slide ourselves in and get through. And so on, so on. We've got things sorted. It's got a very industrial vibe to this room now. But we'll talk about what it's done in the past few weeks and such. We didn't know we were going to make this channel, so we didn't do anything till now. So, starting off with the first set, actually, which is over here. This is my Lego Axolotl in the background. Um, which, that we are just, and that's really... And then we have my brother's fire engine in the back, right over there. And then we have a construction vehicle, which will be used in the town later down the line. Then we have a was a not in the sale because I'm gonna get it wrong, and my brother's gonna get really annoyed about that. Then we have a a little charging bench. My brother told me that was a fire... Oh, I'm not pointing the camera. My brother told me that was a, a bus stop, but now I've just realised that's the park bench which you wait for your phone to charge on. That's... <sighs> I wish that existed in real life, shall I say. Be really useful. Then, a few days ago, we blew this, this little boat, and then we got this big, big truck on the... We got this big truck off eBay. And it didn't come in parts like my other Lego, like normal. It came like someone just dropped it and threw it in bags. So we spent ages trying to figure it out and get it right. We had to destroy one part of it because, well... We just couldn't work it out and it was an utter mess. So that's that. This here, the axolotl is not going to be involved in the town. 
If we put the axe of water on this town, it will just stick out like you saw from. These vehicles here will just be tucking off and put on the roads in the future. Just in the moment, they're there. Just on display while we wait for everything to arrive. Now, we haven't got much plans at the moment. But we're going to discuss this. We, we'll get discuss our plans so far. So, right here is going to be where the train station is. And we're going to have a train go into this wall here. And we're not going to utilise a train. A proper train around the whole town. Because we don't have the space for it. We have no space for a full on train. So we just go into go... Wait, shoot. Just stop there. Just imagination. Because it's basically at that point going into the sky. Then we're going to have a ski resort in the corner. If we have space. Or probably in the back. Um, then we're going to have a fire station somewhere throughout the town. And a little Lego stop somewhere else in the town. Um, I have an idea. All right. I w I'm not right now a big fan of the standard lighting that covers the town. Um, I'm trying to balance the camera. Um, just temporarily, I have this lamp in my bedroom. No, it's out of use. I don't want it. I don't use it anymore. It doesn't go in my bedroom because my room's got more of a natural aesthetic towards it. So, if I can get it down here, and um, we're not going to just temporarily. We have this in the back, and then we can route a port through there and have a burning block in it. And we, it'll probably look quite nice. So, this is it. Oh yeah, this is the ball that went in here before. And... And yeah, that looks like a big street light now and could illuminate the town. I have a better idea and um right. here's the idea. I don't want this to intrude on the town's grid and all that, so the new idea is to move these away from here and Oh, so can Let me just... And there we go. We'll just snap these in here.
And there we go, we've got our little big street lamp illuminating the city. I think that will look, that's going to look quite nice when we get everything else. I think it's a bit too bright, but we need a light bulb for it, a better one than that. At the moment, this is all we have at the Lego City, and um, and that's really all oh, there is. This is all we have. All we have is a little dirt patch there, but everything starts out like a. A bit of greenery and such, so it's the start, it's the start of what we're gonna bloat here. So, excitement! I think so. I think actually, this here should go in the, tra in, in the train station next to it on the base plate. Which will but pretty nice once we've gotten the base plates and all that. So we'll just leave these two here, add a little visualisation so we can start to see things come together. And we've only gotten two little bits of the town there. Oh geez. Well that's really all today. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys later. Goodbye.